Well, just real excited because um, I thought the first half we looked a little um, kind of just mentally frozen, and I thought the second half we got to, we wore. I thought we wore them down. It's probably the third straight opponent that we wore down, which is encouraging, uh, and we really guarded in the second half. I think they got maybe. 12 points in the last 11 minutes. Um, so very pleased with that. Yeah, I, you know, Alex, this is the third straight game. I thought I feel like we've wore teams down in the second half, which is a great trait. And I told our guys that I we looked a little mentally frozen in the first half. As I told them, we we acted like, you know, we were just going to kind of come out and do our own thing. And we had a lot of breakdowns defensively. And I, I thought we were sloppy offensively. Uh, but I thought we got a lot, it was much more smooth in the second half. I thought we really guarded, um, especially the last 12 minutes of the game. And we've done that now for three straight games. So that's a great trend. And I tried to tell them we're a very young basketball team. And so let's not, you know, we have Warren hadn't got going yet. Dez hadn't got going yet. And yet we're sitting at 3-0. and And we've got a home win, a road win, and a neutral win. Um, and I want those guys to be patient. Neither one of those guys have played in 600 days. And... I don't care how much you practice. I don't care how much you get in the weight room. It's different than going up and down on a basketball court. So they need to know we're going to be patient with them. But um, I thought we got some really good play. In particular, we got some really good play off our bench tonight, and that was good to see. Talk about Zane Meeks. Uh, you guys go down five points, 16-2 uh, to run. He scores 11 of those points, a couple threes, a dunk, and he also had a career night in rebounds. First double-double in about well, he was very active, um, and when Zane is active and he's engaged with the fundamentals of what we're trying to do offensively and defensively, he's really good. Um, and we just got to make sure he doesn't go off to like Disneyland sometimes, and you know thinks that we're changing our characters uh, because that's when he gets in trouble, and we got like four or five guys like that. You know, and but we're young, and so we're growing, and so whether we've been good or we've been bad individually, we need to have growth every game. And that's what I tried to tell the guys in the locker room. And I thought Zane, Zane was crucial in our second half. I, I thought he rebounded. I thought he guarded. He challenged things at the rim. He, he got rebounds in traffic, which was really good. And it was really good, obviously, offensively. He made shots. Steve, how much is just the defense and effort going to have to be the calling card of this team, especially as you said, they learn how to, to play together and get other guys going? Well, and we've talked about that really back in July uh, when we had them and started getting them just pieces together that that had to be our staple this year because we're going to be kind of a, it's going to be a process uh, when it comes to offense. Um, we got to figure out who can score and how to score and a lot of the things that we're doing, we're trying to figure out the, the chemistry of all that and the guys, I think that's going to come. But the effort and the toughness that we're trying to instill in them just defensively of fundamentally doing what we want to do. Um, like we gave up a lot of middle drives tonight, and we didn't do that in Lincoln. And so we got to watch the tape. It's a quick turnaround. Um, but it's got to be our staple. And I thought it was, again, in the second half. I think we held them um, in the 20s the second half. So we did a really good job in the second half. And, you know, bottom line, I told them, I said, guys, don't be upset about things. We're young. We're growing. We're learning. And three games in, we've got a home win, a road win, and a neutral win. Um, so you're doing a lot of good things. We'll coach you hard enough and be hard enough on you. You don't need to do that to yourselves. And hopefully we can free up some minds here. And um, we're going to have to have a good effort on Wednesday because we're playing a really good team again on Wednesday. What, what was it like to play in a virtually empty Lawler event center? Yeah, it's odd. But obviously we had that um, in Lincoln, You know, a, a building in Lincoln that was 15-5, so a huge building. Uh, so we've already had two games. So. I think guys handled that okay. I think what I tried to tell them was that now that the game's over, you know, it, on the road we got you sequestered in a hotel room and we control everything. Um, you're at home, you know, now did you prepare differently? Because uh, other than the first four minutes, I didn't like the 16 minutes of the rest of the first half. And so how, do you, how did you prepare? How did you get yourself ready to play? And so look, these are all these guys are going to learn. You know, we literally got some guys that – are playing for the first time, didn't know we had media timeouts every four minutes. Um, you know, so it's a, it's a learning curve for all these guys, and we've got to show some patience. But I couldn't be more pleased with how they've started the year. This has not been easy. Um, and I do think being in, in the COVID season, uh, at least through three games, uh, the thing I've noticed is I think we've been in a better shape. I think we've been in the best condition. And so our guys, that tells me they've handled all the things that go with 
kind of being in the COVID era right now of in and out of quarantines and uh, in and out of practices and those type of the guys have done a really good job of taking care of themselves and getting themselves ready to play, and that's been good to see. Well, it's really big, um, you know, and Grant, uh, who obviously didn't play at Nevada last year, but he played an awful lot of minutes at Wichita. So I think that's going to be big, but um, you're exactly right. You know, they've got it. So we got to communicate more. We got to share things and, and you know, it, it, it didn't help. You know, the guys got, got the disruption of, we had to push the game back 30 minutes. So that kind of messes with them. So I understand those things. And, but I told them we're going to be having to deal with different kinds of things, whether it's injuries, like, we wish we had Daniel. You know, Daniel's a tough guy, and uh, and we need more toughness on this team. So we got to deal with injuries. You got to deal with the distractions that happen, whether you get a play or not. I mean, I, I couldn't imagine it as a player today. You literally wake up game day, and we tested at 10 o'clock this morning. So you're going to shoot around, and you're trying to concentrate on the game. But in the back of your mind, are we all negative? <laughs> are we all going to play tonight? Uh, those aren't normal times. Uh, and you start thinking it's specific, all right, because it seems like every time you pick your phone up, there's a game postponed or canceled. And so I can't imagine as a player how frustrating that is. And I think our, our young guys are handling it very, very well. And not just the returning guys, Shannon, I think we just got to it's going to be have to be a group effort. You know, a lot of these guys are really even our guys that are you would say are veterans they haven't been put in the positions now where the roles have changed and we're asking more for them. And, uh, but if we can just continue to gel as a team and get unified, that's going to be a good thing for us. I guess in case we don't get you tomorrow, can you just talk about the Dons a little bit? You get two cracks at Evan Day. I've certainly made some headlines this weekend. Yeah, I wish I could. Uh, but my, my attention, uh, Coach Barnett's got that scout. My attention is always on the game at hand. So we'll we'll break this film down as soon as I get done here. Um, and so about 10 o'clock tonight, uh, we'll I'll start getting prepped on, on San Francisco. But obviously know that you beat Virginia, who I've got a lot, a ton of respect for Virginia and Coach Bennett. When you beat Virginia, top five team in the country, you get everybody's attention. So that's just an opportunity for us. You know, we've already won a Big Ten road game. Uh, we've won a neutral game uh, against um, a team that's had a lot of success over the last six years. Uh, and now we've got a home win. So now I told the guys, now you get a chance to play a team uh, two times in a row now, home and a road against uh, that have already got a top five win. Uh, so it's a huge opportunity for our guys and we got to get some rest and get prepared as much as we can, but it's going to be um, a tough battle. We know that, and we're going to have to play well. Start with you, Zane. Uh, career night, man, 18 points, 11 rebounds. Uh, you got it kind of going there in the second half. How did it feel to be in that kind of rhythm and to be able to put that kind of performance on? Well, you know, my teammates did me a great good job of giving me the ball. You know, he had a couple of great passes to me. You know, just a lot of time off. Quarantine, you know, was able to change my body, work out a lot more. It just feels good to be back out here. Obviously, I wish we had 11,000 in here, but, you know, take what we can get, and hopefully fans are back soon. Yeah, you've experienced what it's like here. Sorry, Mike, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Alex. Um, I was just going to go off of that thing. You, you've experienced what it's like to have Lawler rocking. How different is it to play? I mean, was it hard to bring game energy, considering you spent so much time in there practicing? What is everything? Well, you know, that, that's been an advantage this year is we've been in here so much. You know, we've practiced in here. Coach has made multiple notes of it. You know, hey, look around. You know, there's going to be a few reporters, maybe some cheerleaders, but the, that's it. You know, this is what Lawler's going to be like for the good portion of the rest of the season. So, you know, we've kind of gotten used to it. And when you're on the court, you notice it, but you don't. The only times you don't really notice the, the fans or at the free throw line or, you know, when you hit a big shot, there's no huge roar. That's about the only two differences. Grant, why, why do you think you guys had such a different success on defense in the second half? You guys only gave up one three-pointer out of 12 shots and, and really clamped down. What, what do you kind of put on that? Uh, I think we just did a better job at following the game plan. You know, we were having a lot of mental mistakes in the first half, and that was on us as a team. But second half, we just listened to coach and what, our, what his defensive plan was, and we just followed the game plan, and we had success. Mm -hmm. Grant, do you feel like the identity of this team, you know, it's going to have to be kind of scrappy and, and defensive and, and, you know, a team that really has to kind of, the calling card has to be on that side of the floor? Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, we, we got a bunch of guys who can really guard. So 
we work on it a lot in practice, and we take um, we take pride in it. You know, defense is one of the most important pieces, parts of the game, and we just want to be really good at it. Grant, coach was just talking about how he keeps preaching to you guys that the offense will come, and as Alex just said, you got to stick with that defensive end. Is it hard as a player to want to have all that success immediately, or is the process does it get kind of frustrating? I mean. If any of us could just flip a switch and have success, I feel like everybody would do it. So, yeah, it's pretty hard. So, I mean, we just got to keep chipping away. And we're drilling our offense every day. It's going to come. Uh, we got a lot of young guys on our team, including myself and Zane. So, it's going to come. You know, we haven't played for a while. Everybody's just getting the hang of things again. So, I'm, I'm sure it'll come. How important Zane, how, uh, go ahead, Chan. Um, just how important has it been just to stay focused and just take every day, like, one at a time? I mean, Coach was saying, you know, you guys get tests in, in the morning and then you're hoping it all comes back and everyone gets to play and you get to play a game. So just how important is it to just take everything a little bit at a time? Take this one. Um, you know, just we've kind of become used to it. You know, obviously we went from COVID testing once a week throughout the summer and the fall to three times a week now. So, you know, the COVID and everything has just kind of become a part of our lives. You know, the, the, you can't make excuses for it. It's, it's here. It's going to be here for a while. It's going to be here certainly for this season. You know, everyone's dealing with it. Everyone's got that 14-day hammer looming over their head. You know, everyone's just got to stay, stay smart. But, you know, it's just it's, you got to get used to it. That's a simple way to put it. You can't make excuses and finish the season out with it. Zane, you know, Coach kind of talked about you, you know, in your performance that, like, when you're really kind of in it, you know, this is what you can kind of do. Is is what you did tonight what you want to show to, to coaches, your teammates, yourself, that this this is the kind of performance that you can provide kind of on a night-to-night basis? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean, and I missed two layups that I should have made or I personally think I should have made. But, you know, I mean, once again, my teammates did me a great job of getting the ball to me. You know, I can't do everything without myself. You know, we did a great job rebounding. Obviously, like you said, our defense second half was – Tremendous, much better than it was in the first half. And, you know, I just, you know, just play as well as I can and, you know, do what I can do to help this team win. Grant, it feels How much like, fun is uh, it just being back out? How much fun is it just being back out there, man? I mean, I know we talked to you during quarantine a couple times. You were, you were dreaming about just being able to play basketball. I know it's not in front of fans, but, I mean, just being able to get out there with your guys and, and be a part of basketball again and play competitive games. I mean, what, what does that mean? Well, it's it, it, I can't even put it into words. It's awesome to be back playing games. You know, we've been we've been here since June seventh, I think. You know, just working out, grinding in Lawler in sessions. You know, we've just been working out for I mean, what feels like forever, and to finally get to come back and play at home, it's an amazing feeling. Grant, it seems like uh, Coach doesn't want to leave you on the bench for long. Just what does it mean to be at this new program and to have a large role and to know that you know, a lot of guys are looking toward you to be that more general. Um, you know, I'm, I'm young, so it's new to me. But, you know, I'm just taking on the challenge that coach gives me every day, and I'm just trying to make the best of it. You know, I'm just trying to go out there and help my teammates to the best of my ability with my voice and uh, with my play. So, yeah. Zane, it feels like, uh, and Coach kind of mentioned how each of these wins has been a little different. You had a tough mid-major team without a lot of success. You win a, a Big Ten quote-unquote road game, and then, and then you come home and get one. How important is it to play different kind of games and get wins in different kind of ways as you're a team that is uh, continuing to learn how to play together? Well, I mean, I think I think it's incredible. I think this team's done an incredible job. We're 3-0, and and we're young. I mean, we've got... Dez hasn't played in 600 days. Warren hasn't played in 600 days. Grant, I met this kid in June. You know, Alem, Dre, Trey, met him in June. You know, for us to be able to 3-0 and and grind out the type of wins we've had, I think is incredible. You know, I think we just got to keep grinding. And, you know, this team, this team can be very good when we, when we want to be in guard.